I feel like I have the opportunity to do what I want to do now. It's like a new life. Breaking news right now, this man is one of 15 men whose convictions were overturned this morning in the largest single day of exonerations in Cook County history. Hi everyone, I'm Erin Kennedy. Good morning, I'm Marissa Bailey, and this may not be the end. We are told more cases could be looked at. Let's get right to CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli at the Leighton Criminal Court Building with more. Good morning, Mike. Hi, they're men who all serve time for crimes they say they didn't commit. Now the county's top prosecutor agrees with them. 15 men who were sent to prison on drug charges today had their convictions dismissed. Ten of those newly exonerated former convicts showed up at Cook County Criminal Court Clerk Building today for the largest mass exoneration in Cook County history. All the men say they were framed by this man, former Chicago Police Sergeant Ronald Watts and his partners. They patrolled on the south side between 2003 and 2008. Watts and Officer Khalid Muhammad, seen here being taken into custody, were both sent to prison for stealing cash from a drug dealer who was actually working with the FBI at the time. Leonard Gibson was just 22 when he says he refused to pay Watts' so-called protection tax. He said Watts then planted heroin on him and placed him under arrest. That sent him to prison twice for lengthy stints behind bars. So Watts always told me, if you're not going to pay me, I'm going to get you. And every time he ran, every time I ran into him, he put drugs on me. Every time. What's never quite understood is that this stuff sticks with you. These convictions stick with you. You can't get the time back you served. You can't get. Um, it affects your ability to get jobs, housing. One of the things that, that the state's attorney said during the campaign and and has continued to say is that one of the priorities of this office and her administration, I think is to restore trust between the criminal justice system and its actors and the citizens of Cook County. Now, Tepfer says in all, 26 convictions spearheaded by Watts have been overturned so far, but he says Watts and his crew were involved in more than 500 different con convictions, so he believes there are many, many more to come at this point, and they intend to plan to continue to investigate. As for Gibson, he says he feels like a newborn baby with his whole life to live, and he says he now believes he can finally get a job. Reporting live at the Criminal Courts Building, Mike Puccinelli. CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron? All right, Mike, thank you.